to what's love got to do with it we are so excited this is our second vlog and we are so grateful for your support we have had over 800 viewers whoop whoop mm -hmm. yes since our last vlog so of course this is so encouraging and we give god all the glory we are just excited and elated just to have you be a part and we're excited about what we're going to be speaking on today but first we also want to just let you guys know that what we talk about, what we discuss, are simply our truths. We're hoping not to offend anyone. That's not our plan. But we are wanting to expose the enemy for who he is. He is a liar, liar. a cheat, cheater, still heartbreaker. And I won't let him back in my life. So I'm taking the house, the cars, the kids, the dog. I want it all. He wants it all. So understand. I'm getting it back. So the enemy wants it all. And we just doing this blog so we could get everything that the enemy has tried to take. Right. And so we may have victorious or victory at the end of the day. So today we have a topic that's uh, something that everybody deal with consciously or uh, unconsciously. We deal with it every day. And the topic of today is pow, pow, pow. Triggers. triggers. Triggers, yes, triggers. What are triggers? Okay, so the dictionary defines triggers as something that sets off a flashback, transporting the person back to the traumatic event. Wow, triggers. So, and basically, what we mean is something that you dealt with in your past, or you may currently be dealing with, and you yourself haven't uh, actually dealt with the issue. It's something that uh, it could be traumatic, it could be fear, it could be anxiety, but it's something that will set you off quick. And understand, triggers have no name to it. All right. So in other words, you could be shooting people and you don't even realize it. People could be stepping on li uh, landmines and because you are blowing up for whatever issues. All right. So today, we are going to talk about it. Absolutely. And triggers could be something that, like I say, or like... My husband just said, innocent bystanders have nothing to do with me or nothing to do with you, but because that person hasn't, I won't say dealt with, but... Yeah, you can say dealt with. For, for example, my triggers. Um, when I do something wrong or if I did something, my wife will say, look at you over there acting like you're a doggone daddy. <laughs> Uh, and I get all, I get upset real life. What you mean acting like my daddy? And the bad part about it is that I was raised by my stepdad, not necessarily my biological dad. And so I don't know my dad as much as I do my stepdad. So when she said, you acting like your dad, I'm like, how dare you talk about my dad as if you know him? Like, you only know what I tell you. And right. truth of the matter is, I don't know him. So that's a trigger. So would because, you say that that's a mystery to you? That you not knowing your dad is a mystery? Right. And so I would get upset. I would get offended because in a sense, that's a void that is missing in my life. So just even right. with that, if you have a void that's missing with your life, if it's your mom, your dad, you know, try to resolve that. Talk to them, you know, ask them questions. You know, I, you know, when you're in school, the teacher say, ask questions if you have right. anything. Ask questions. Why you do this? When did you do it? What made you do it? And try to get resolve those issues so that you won't, in a sense, be blown up for no reason. Absolutely. And one of my triggers, and notice oh. that I said one, because oh. I noticed over the last couple years, oh. calm down, Tink Tink, that, <laughs> that I have many triggers. Many. Especially with me being a female and being emotional. Emotional, man. We did that one last week. Don't do that oh, again. Oh, okay. All right. So one of my triggers that I just recently realized, and it was so profound. Um, I was so embarrassed, actually, because I felt like I made myself look like a fool. And I actually did look like a fool. Just to give you a quick example, my husband and I were shopping, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm telling that one. We were in the, in the store shopping, mm -hmm. and I had purchased a pair. I was about to purchase a pair of shoes, and I had placed them on the counter to pay for them. And he asked me, he said, hey, uh, baby, those are some nice shoes. Did you try them on? Oh, my goodness. Look, 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 you don't tell the story. So look here, people. I'm about to tell you the truth. I was minding my business. I'm about to sneeze. Ooh, but, oh, okay. I was minding my business. I was about to buy the stuff. <laughs> Ooh. 
Is that on video? Yes. God bless me. I know you saying it for me. Thank you. God bless. Oh, thank you. Hallelujah. Really? So, I was minding my business and I was going to um, buy the stuff and I'm like, oh, babe, like, those are some nice shoes. Like, oh, but did you um, try them on? Why did I say that? What you mean did I try it on? What you trying to do? You trying to be my daddy or something like that? I know if I need to try it on anything. I'm like, oh my God. And everybody was looking and I was just looking like, this girl is crazy. Like, this girl really crazy. And people just looking at me, I have to walk off because I was truly embarrassed. Mm. And you know how he just cut me off? That's a trigger number two. You see, I told him that sometimes it's best just to be quiet and let me finish because sometimes he interrupts and I tend to forget what I was going to say, just like now. So he's told my story. I didn't get a chance to tell my story. I'm working on it. Mm. I'm yeah. working in progress. We're all works in progress. But look triggers women i'm speaking to women we have so many triggers that are unresolved especially those of us who have been raised by single parents my mother was a great mother she loved my sister and i she loved us unconditionally and i knew she did but like i said in my last blog there were some things that i was allowed to do because of the trust that she had for me i don't blame her for that I blame the generational curses because she didn't know any better. She only raised my sister and I the best way she knew how. And when I tell you she did an awesome job, she would give you the shoes and clothes off of her back and off of her feet. But her mom or her mother's mother may have not told her how to be a mother in that aspect. Not to give your daughter too much autonomy because maybe she didn't have that autonomy and she wanted to give it to me. So just to let you know, there. You have to first deal with those, but you first have some pointers that you want to first address. And before we get to the pointers, let, let's just give you another example of triggers. So, hypothetically, you at the store with your boo thing, or uh, with your mm -hmm. significant other, and there's a nice lady that come across, and your significant other is just looking over there, and while he's looking, mm -hmm. look at the prices, you could just be looking and following and all suddenly. Boy, what you doing looking at that woman butt? That is so disrespectful. I know you are not doing it in front of me. I was just trying to make sure that the sign is right. What sign? I don't see no sign over the there. The sign say two ninety nine, but you get a discount for one ninety nine. Oh, that sign. And you know how you like your kind candy. I'm sorry, man. But you just hit me if they looking at me like I'm crazy, like I did something. You know what? I, you want me to massage your feet? Nah, I don't want you to massage my feet. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nah, you need to tell these people you sorry. I'm and sorry. And again, this is real life stuff. You hit me hard. I'm sorry, baby. Yeah, you're going to rub my feet. <laughs> but again, triggers. Something that go off that don't have nothing to do with you. Because in the simple fact that she maybe had insecurities. Right. Maybe it's something that she didn't do at home. Or something that she may be experiencing herself. Maybe she don't feel pretty. Maybe she don't feel like she did her hair today. Or maybe the particular woman had a bigger... Mm. Can I say that? Mm -mm, don't say okay. that word. But simply, like he said, it could be some things in my past that has nothing to do with this beautiful lady. It's just something I'm dealing with or I'm not dealing with. For instance, is it I'm not taking care of my husband or my spouse at home? Are there some things that I'm lacking and I know I'm lacking and I should do better? Or maybe I don't know. I don't recognize there's some things that I'm lacking and that is a way that I'm triggered. So, how can we resolve these triggers? How can we stop blowing up? Well, I'm sorry. Don't let me shut up. Thank you because God gave me these three words. A couple years ago, I was going through some things, possibly some past pain. And I was sitting in the parking lot of a grocery store and God gave me these three profound words that I took with me and I've carried them for the last four years of my life. Now, don't take these because I'm getting these patented one day, okay? But I do want you to write them down and use them in your daily life. The first one is recognize. Oh my goodness, you got to first admit. It's just like going to an AA meeting. You can't get delivered from it if you don't admit. I, Gerard Williams, I have a problem uh, of shutting up. Uh, <laughs> I tend to interrupt. Uh, I get too excited. I just interrupt. Right. So I'm admitting that on today. Absolutely. So he first recognized that he has a problem. We first have to recognize it. Our second point is rebuke. 
Oh my goodness, we need to rebuke the devil. All right, so in James 4 and 7, let me get that out real quick. It says, submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. We have to first resist. We have to rebuke the devil. He is a liar. We know that he is, so he will lie. And you know one thing that is for sure, your past will not prevent your future. So you have to send Satan back where, where he came from. And what's the last one, baby? <coughs> oh, made me cough. <coughs> See? Me. It's in the air. It's in the air. The third one is restore. Sure. So after you've recognized that, yes, I have a problem. I need to deal with these. And secondly, you've rebuked the enemy because we know that he's a liar, that he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. The third thing is you want to restore. You need to call those things which not be like what they were, meaning in a sense if... For example, I'm bald. You know what? Even though I'm bald, I'm a good-looking man. You may be dealing with uh, insecurity, insecurity, and you could be like, you know what? I'm still beautiful. Yeah, and you know? learn to compliment each other. I have a gift of complimenting other women. Girl, you are so beautiful. Thank you. You yes. are so handsome. But compliment the same sex is what I mean. Compliment your fellow peers. Your, and really mean it. Genuinely mean it. Because that does something for you. Even when I was dealing with insecurities, it didn't necessarily have to do with the woman per se. But maybe it was some things that I need to deal with on the inside of me. Try to be serious right now. Hey Amen. Hey, continue. Thank you. Now, see, you just made me forget. Because you distracted me, which was a trigger. But see, I just I recognized know. that it was a trigger. So guess what? It's okay because I've grown from it. And I know that we're all works in progress. And we have to love each other no matter what. We have to pray each other through. So if you see your sister and brother that's maybe dealing with the trigger and you just so happen to be an innocent bystander, recognize, rebuke, and restore. And so we're going about to close in prayer. We pray that something that we said that may help you. Uh, in your journey uh, called life. So let's pray. Father God, we thank you. Father God, we thank you for who you are. We thank you for yes, what you're Lord. doing, Father God. Help us that we may recognize, rebuke, and restore what anything that the enemy tries to throw at us, Father God. Help us that we will throw a atomic bomb on the plants that the enemy is oh, doing, yes. Father God. Yes, Father God, help us, Father God, that we will not allow triggers to influence people around us, Father God, that they won't be hurt and be innocent bystanders for unsolved issues that we're dealing with, Father God. Renew the right spirit in us, Father God, and everything that we do, Father God. We trust you. We adore you. In Jesus' name we say, amen. Amen. And let's not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Type in Gerard Williams Productions. That's G-E-R-A-R-D-E -E Williams Productions. Tune in to our blog. We want you to subscribe. We want to get this out to the nations. We want to hear from you. And if there are some topics that you want us to discuss, please email us at williams6244 at yahoo.com. You can like us on Facebook. Even message us. We put it on our personal pages. So look for us on Facebook under Latoya Williams or Gerard Williams. We love you. We thank God for each and every one of you. And we pray the best. Until then. What's love got to do with it? You see, see how I, I was quiet right there? See, I was quiet. I didn't say nothing. Yeah. I let you do it. I let you do it. So, yeah, I'm working. Yeah.